Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to teach you what a pinky push off break looks like and what it is and how to perform it. It's a really easy technique, but I use it a lot and I'll be using it a lot in my videos. So I thought, why not teach it right now? So right now I'm using the black bicycle deck. This is what I used uh, for all my performances. As I said, this is going to be a really short video. It's a really easy technique. So you're gonna hold the deck into in a mechanic script like this. If you don't know what it is, check my very first video in the magic course. It should be the very first video. I think it's called the grip. Anyways, this is what it looks like. You push and do that, but then what you actually what I actually did is that I got a break under the first card. Right? Like there are many ways to get a break under the first card. You can do a pinky count like that and get one. Or you can do you can use your thumb and then just get a break like this and then get a pinky break. But this is more subtle yet effective and really fast, right? You don't need to use your right hand. You don't even need to try to do the pinky break, which is sometimes risky. Um, so this is what you do. Holding the mechanics grip, you're going to simply push the top card over with your thumb like this, right? And then you're going to use your pinky to kind of like pull it up, push it off, push it up like this. And then you're using, using your thumb again, you're going to pull it back. What actually, what that does is that it's going to give you a break under the first card. I'm pretty sure you guys got it on your first try. It's pretty simple. Push, pull, and you get a pinky break. Push the first top card, pull, and you get a pinky break on your first card. Push and pull. That's what it is. Really simple, super duper simple, not that hard. Here, I'll do it close up. Push and pull. That's it. And then you can just hold on to the pinky break like this. Just make sure you don't flash or you don't do something like this. Um, this beat will become really important when you do the marble tilt. Um, I'll teach you what that is in my in the future video. But essentially, let's say that's the card they chose. You make it seem like the eight of clubs is going somewhere in the middle of the deck, right? Because, right? And then you push it in. But then... This is what's happening. There's a gap right there. So eight of clubs is actually going to the second from the top. And then you just do a double, a simple double lift, which brings it to the top. They'll think it jumped from the middle of the deck to the top. And that was, I guess, and I just did an anti double lift, which gets rid of the double lift that I have. Let's, so that's a double lift right there. I just do that. And I leave the eight of clubs right there. I'll teach all of this in my future videos. These are really good skills to have if you're going to be a magician. Anyways, back to the topic. Pinky, uh, pinky break, no, push up pinky break. This is what it looks like. You push with your thumb. When you pull it back, you use your pinky to push the card up, which will actually get you a pinky break like so. And then what you can do from here now is that you can actually do a double undercut. So let's say that's your card, 10 of diamonds, push it, pull it back in, and then transfer that to a thumb break like that. And then you do a double undercut like so, which will bring the 10 of diamonds to the very bottom. Again, it's a different application, but you'll be, I'll, you'll use this a lot. So you have the top card, four of diamonds, push, pull, get a pinky break, transfer that to a thumb break, holding it like this. A cut, this is the double undercut, and then it brings the four of diamonds to the very bottom right there. So anyways, that's the tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Very simple, but really important. I'll see you next time.